Thank you for giving me the honor of sharing my story and my thoughts here today. I just want to be honest right up front. I'm not a religious person and I'm a terrible singer. But I just want to sing this Sunday school song that has played in my head all of my life. And feel free to sing along if you know the words. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they're all precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. That song has special meaning to me. As a child of unimaginable mental and physical abuse, I used to wonder why didn't this powerful man love me and come and save me? Give me food when I was starving, heal my wounds when I was being beaten, warm my heart when I felt utterly alone and unloved. As an adult, I use the words of that song to ask my community sometimes with indignance, how do we demonstrate the tenets of this idea? A similar adage that stayed with me from childhood was, it takes a village to raise a child. When reading about the controversy of whether one community would welcome a children's group home into their village, I was saddened to learn the decision was no. It struck me hard that the residents of these communities had given up and failed to believe in the power of the human spirit. I also wondered, where's the love for these precious children? Why I love being part of Hillside is that for more than 175 years, they maintained the belief in the power of what one person can do for, to transform the life of another. We hear in the news about lives that are destroyed by violence, abuse, and neglect. It can easily make us forget that there's another side, the side that gets paid forward by ordinary people every day paid forward by the staff and supporters of agencies like Hillside. That tiny little world of violence, pain, hatred, and mental illness that I grew up in was not the whole world as I was made to believe. It took many years, but fortunately for me, I discovered that there was a much bigger world full of love, caring, and happiness. And guess what? I was actually welcomed into that world with open arms at the children's home I was placed in, I was made to feel not only did I belong in that world, but also I was needed, I was valued. I learned that I had talents and gifts that the community needed from me. I flourished. I graduated from high school. I graduated from college with honors. I received my MBA from the Simon School at the University of Rochester. I raised two of the world's best daughters Around age six, my youngest daughter began to understand the childhood I had. When she fully understood it, she asked, Mommy, then how did you know how to love us? She brought tears to my eyes because it was at that moment that I knew I was a success. I knew that I was not a broken person. Although I had not received love, I was capable of sharing it. So that's why I had tears in my eyes when I read about people in my community who rejected and closed their hearts to the idea of welcoming a group home full of kids who were just like me. To me, and I fear the children, they sent the message, go back to that small dark world you came from, you're not welcome or needed here. And that just broke my heart because it's categorically not true. The world of love and positivity belongs to all of us equally. Every child, every person has the same right to participate in the bigger world. Anyone who stands in the way are unwittingly making themselves part of the darkness. From that little Sunday school song that taught us the truth that the children, they're all precious, not just this one or that one, but all of them precious. They are welcome as our neighbors, our friends, our family. They have challenges and they have gifts, which makes them just like you and me. Their survival stories are something that they should be proud of and the community should celebrate. Those are the lessons that agencies like Hillside and others have understood and lived for centuries. Because of the childhood I endured, I feel confident in my belief that it is our responsibility to help every child feel precious 
and part of the bigger world, part of our village. Thank you for listening.